All right, so let's see. All right, so had this video submitted to me by Devotion and he wanted me to look at this VOD, which I'm also gonna kind of also use to explain how to play Peach versus Zero Suit. This is a matchup I played quite a bit, so I can offer a lot of advice on this. So basically how this matchup works is when played optimally, this matchup is super duper slow. It's a lot of Peach yourself just trying to keep stage control. It's really important to keep stage control in this matchup against Zero Suit because you really don't want to overextend and then she flip kicks over you and now you're in the corner. And although Zero Suit doesn't have the best ledge trapping, she usually has some of the scariest corner pressure because of near flip kick killing you at like 40. So you have to be very careful of that. It's very important to take note of two things while you're playing patient and neutral. You want to keep note of how the Zero Suit likes to move and try to like stuff her out in the air and deny airspace. Because Zero Suit's ground game, it's okay. She's very fast on the ground, but her grab is very laggy. Her ground moves are not as safe as her aerials, so she wants to be in the air more. And the other thing is you want to take note of what Zero Suit does after Zare and Nair. Zare is going to be the main thing you're going to be playing around because Zero Suit's Pretty simple in terms of the neutral. It's a lot of her just using her movement to dance around you and poking with Zare, and then sometimes mixing it up with a grab or coming in at you with a fair. So you want to take note of what she does, how she responds to your shield, and you want to mix up what you do out of shield because good zero suits will are really good at baiting and calling out your out of shield options and playing around them. So that's really important. Let's just get right into it. And you know, devotion. So we start here. This is something you kind of want to avoid, and, uh, though, is, is you want to avoid devotion. immediately going into the corner and pulling a turn up. In matchups like this against fast characters and even the ditto, I just opt to go to stage, center stage immediately because I don't want to be in the corner in this matchup and I want to keep stage control as much as I can. So you want to avoid pulling turnips in really bad spots in this matchup because Zero Suit has the speed and the mobility to call you out for it. So instead, you just want to be just go straight to the middle. Don't pull turnip yet. Peach's normals are actually quite good at boxing with Zero Suit. You have fair, you have rising nair and back air, and even down air can be good in a few spots if you know if you're really paying attention to what the Zero Suit is doing. So definitely avoid doing this. Just Ghost to center stage first. It's more important than pulling a turn up in this matchup. I'm real, I think you should yeah. Daisy. You know, better matchup just in general. But yeah, I like how you're already playing grounded. You want to avoid being in the air too much. Because Zero Suit's fair is a really good aerial burst option that you want to be careful of. And Zare is also just good at stuffing out Peach's float. So you can't really float for free in this matchup. You want to use more ground movement. And I like that you're holding the turn up two and playing patient. Because Zero Suit, when you're holding a turn up, a lot of characters and players respond to playing more airborne or playing more campy. So you're kind of already forcing a different game by holding this turn up. So I like you're playing patient. No. And I like you're also just Better aware of the Zare off of the platform. That's really important too, because Zero Suit likes to do that. Yeah. So you get the grab, exactly. back Maybe air. This this is another thing you want to avoid. After you get this down throw back air, a lot of peaches, when they hit you, they tend to want to immediately pull turn up. And that's really bad because you want to keep your advantage state. But don't overextend because of flip kick. Just try to chase her. The best thing you can get in this spot is try to trade with her. You can catch landings with ground float forward air, which is really good. Airborne characters will be in the air. And what goes up must come down. So you want to try to catch her landing after this back air. Don't try to pull turn up. Instead, inch forward a little by not overextending, but keeping center stage. You can even try to call out the flip jump with like a fair or a double jump back air here. But try to not pull turn up. Stage control is way, way, way more important against zero suit. Uh, a good way to start it off. So there's the like fair, and there's the Zare off the platform. One way you can deal with Zare in this matchup, which is really cool, is you can float plus air dodge through it, or you can position yourself in the air with float just above Zare in fair range. So you want to use a lot of more full hop movement when you're in the air in this matchup, and double jump movement. 
you don't want to be at the short hop range where she can hit you. And I wonder if we'll see that later as the set goes on. But the zero suit's kind of responding to when you hold turn up by immediately being in the air and going to the platforms. So just take note of that. It's going to help you read the movement of the zero suits of the zero suit player later, which is very good. Yep. So there's the nair. This is what I mean about like the shield pressure. So in Against characters like Cloud and Zero Suit, I tend to hold shield a little bit longer because they don't really get anything off of grab. The only thing it can really do is get like a 50-50 by throwing you and then reading what you don't do after. But against Zero Suit, I tend to hold shield at the start of the game a little bit longer just to condition the grab. It's kind of like Pac-Man where their grab is really slow and very punishable. So here, I wouldn't have tried to get for a parry. I would have just held shield and waited, because most zero suits like to land on your shield with this nair, and then follow up with the frame one jab, which you can pull, which you can punish with the turn up. So yeah, really gotta be to careful. Um, so here's another thing about disadvantage in this matchup. So disadvantage in this matchup, you want to save your jump because it's hard to recover high against this character. As you can already see, zero suit's jump height is so high that she can call you out for recovering high with her full hop, maybe even flip kick. She has a lot of ways to get up there very quickly to stuff you out, and Peach is very floaty and slow. So you want to generally go lower in this matchup. If worse comes to worse and she tries to go down there, you can float under the stage and up there. Is Devotion's crazy combo game. Like, so yeah, I'm seeing you're pulling a lot of turnips after you hit them which is something you don't want to do. Instead, just try to chase your suit. Try to go for a trade if she tries to mash out a hit stun because Peach is really good at trading. So you can try to go over there and hit her. But definitely keep this in mind for the future. This is already a habit I'm seeing, and I wonder if um, Andrew T will capitalize on that. Devotion's combo game is but yeah, see, wild. this person's playing more airborne while you're holding the turn up, so it kind of limits their movement already. So this person wants to play airborne, use the platform arms, platforms more when you have a turn up, and just keep that in mind to read the zero suits movement. A lot after every hit. So yeah, there it is again. This is number three. I'm not going to really mention it anymore. I just want you to keep this in mind for when you play against other people in the future. Just keep this in mind as a habit. Instead of pulling this turn up, try to not pull it and just go forward and keep stage control. Try to push your advantage state a little bit more. Exactly. Turn up into dash attack. Oh, but Andrew T taking that turn up. Ooh, and gets that the air dodge. Exactly. So the thing about attack. fast characters. So this double jump was okay. Oh, but, but I don't really I wonder if this air dodge was a misfit, but I'm just gonna kinda assume it is. But against if you didn't know as Peach, against fast characters, try to avoid this air dodge. Characters like Fox and Falcon will destroy you for reading your air dodges and kill you off stage. And fat characters are so fast and Peach is so floaty that they can frame trap you. So you want to use your jump extremely wisely in disadvantage because Peach doesn't have the luxury of just fast fall air dodge or like a flip kick like other characters. So be very careful of this when you're in disadvantage, just spamming air dodge. T, taking that turn up. So there's a grab. And see, going low here was the right choice. And I would have waited with float down there a little bit because Zero Suit will try to flip kick and try to gimp you like this. So it's okay to float down there because you do have up air if she tries to go down there and get you. Oh, he tried to get a footstool down there. So patient at ledge, that's really good. I'm going to go back here because this is something that's also extremely important at ledge against Zero Suit. Zero Suit doesn't have the best ways to hit ledge hang, which is very, very good. So you can afford to play a little more patient at ledge. You don't have to rush or force your way out of the corner against her. So it's good to play patient here. Wait and just roll and just kind of go for it. Yep, just movement. And this is what I mean. Instead of going for these turn up pulls in really bad spots, just try to go for center stage. It's a little more important and trying to control the air rather than trying to immediately pull turn ups at the start. I would need a little more information about the zero suit before I start pulling turn up. If the zero suit's like not approaching, this is when it's good. But the zero suit really isn't like camping you that hard yet. So instead, use more ground movement and deny airspace while playing patient. 
There's no need to rush things in this matchup because how it works is Zero Suit doesn't want to get hit and you don't want to get hit and you're both like trying to keep stage control. So be a little more patient before pulling turn up. Instead, I want you to use more movement and Peach's anti-airs against her. Because Zero Suit has a Zare and the mobility to call you out for pulling turn up every time. But uh, right now, a good Zare nice. just to that. All right, so, yeah. got Peach floating at the ledge. He's trying to get another. What is he doing? Good grab. He so here. So okay, bad. you went for the back air. I thought you were going to do it. What is he doing? So here after this down throw, um, oftentimes Zero Suit will try to flip kick over you. So oftentimes after I get the grab, I'm just going to try to read your flip jump. You can double jump up air over here because I just want to deny you from getting to center stage. Like that's the whole point of this matchup is denying her from getting back to center. But yeah, after this down throw, try to read the flip jump. You can up air her, and once she doesn't have flip jump, it's a little bit easier to keep her in disadvantage. It's still not amazing because she has better mobility, but the up air will get you much needed damage, and at 100%, fair can kill around the corner. So yeah, you try to read it there, and this turn up pull wasn't good either. Don't try to pull turn up when zero suit is in disadvantage because she will just like uh, flip jump over you. Right there. Instead, just like use your normals. Get the first hit of that air, to get some yeah, this is kind of what I mean about the, the height you want to be at when mixing up the movement in this matchup. Around this height, where it's around full hop, but you use a double jump, where it's just above Zare and just above Fair, and you can kind of um, punish her for throwing out short hop anti airs against you. Something, but, now but yeah, that's another bad turn up pull. And you dash back too far too, which is really bad against your suit. You gave up all of the stage, and instead, I want you to be in the center, like just fighting her. Because Peach has good boxing tools against your suit. I think you're just playing a little bit too scared of the zero suit right now and relying too much on turnups when peach has the tools to kind of deal with it so that was kind of risky this fair was kind of risky but it ended, ended up working out fair just playing patient just playing patient here too yeah all right so zero suit up smash is kind of hard to punish oftentimes when i see a smash attack like this and I'm unsure I'm just gonna assume that you're gonna spot dodge like that's normally what I think so instead of trying to punish it I'll just try to punish what they do after like here they just dash back because you're gonna grab grab is a pretty meh option in this game especially out of shield because a lot of stuff is safe and smash attacks are really hard to punish surprisingly but that's just how ultimate is so Instead, try to read the spot dodge or read like a jump or something. Some sort of defensive option. Ooh, oh, nice. Great micro spacing right there. Just waiting for that. Yep, Andrew Okay. Team oh, that was a nice there, so. off that whipped grab, getting that back air. Yep, oh, caught the landing. God. I kinda saw like a clank there. Yeah, the I thought crown too. flanking with the, the whip. Mm, Up, let me God. see. I kinda saw like a clank there. Yeah, so Zare and to jump and to grab. Up, Up throw, not enough to kill yet. Not yet. But one more, I probably will. Andrew, yeah, so Ooh, that's why it's so important to condition grabs more, against her. Because while you're boxing with Zero Suit, um, you can shield afterwards and then force her to grab. And then if she misses, you get a really hard punish. I think, could you have frying pan? Up, up throw, not enough to kill yet. Not yet. But one more, I probably will. Yeah, you could have frying pan. So you actually could have killed him there. Andrew, but yeah. Oh, oh my Matt god, she's so lucky. Yeah, Probably see, this is why it's hard to just recover high. Ooh, and a lot of oh peaches gosh. out of disadvantage will double jump float. And this is really bad against fast characters especially. Because they'll just catch your landing. And like I was saying earlier, Zero Suit's so good at getting up there very quickly. With like a back air and her full hop. So instead go low and just kind of mix up from there. Lucky. Oh, oh she's so lucky. <laughs> That mash was some of the greatest mash so, yeah. I've ever seen in my life. Go to life. center stage C. Perfect. Yes. But you caught the landing. Awesome. Now we're holding a turn up. And that's the other reason I want you to box a little more with Zero Suit. Because her out of shield isn't that great. Up B, it's okay, but it's extremely risky. Like, if you ever seen Mars play and he just misses an up B, it's like a disaster. Because up B just isn't that big and it's super, super punishable. And Peach has the tools to shield pressure with down tilt, 
a nair, and then you can just grab. So this is why I want to see you boxing a little bit more with zero suit and being more aggressive, keeping center stage rather than staying back and pulling turn. Avoid that, uh, that, you know, pretty... Nice. See, I want you to do that more out of the grab. Just read the jump, read something instead of going back and pulling turn up. Fight for center stage. Hit up smash. Nice. And you pulled turn up there. So, Floating to avoid that, uh, that like, this was jump. awesome. You're like, no, you cannot jump. And see, go over there and try to chase the landing. But don't go too, but don't overextend, though. Don't go, like, over here. Go, like, here with, like, a ground float forward air. And, or if you want to play it safe, you can just double jump up air and keep the center. But personally, I would have just caught the landing here because they're out of a jump. And the only thing they can really do is flip kick. So you can read either their landing or the flip kick there if you're com or try to bait the flip kick. I'm sorry. A nice follow through with that. Rather than trying to pull the turn up. There. Back air, you know? And see, these turn up pulls are really getting you punished a lot. Just extending that so state and be very careful. Onto that platform to stay safe from the nair. And now, the parry. Oh my God. Um, stay this stay dare. So dare yeah. is kind of interesting in this matchup because. You can kind of anti-air. So remember what we were talking about earlier, where you could float just above her short hop Zare in fair range? I want you to float just at this platform, I think. I don't remember the exact spacing at the moment, but I think it's it's definitely higher than this, where you can kind of anti-air her jumps with the down air. You can even do a rising full hop down air as a way to anti-air her from jumping at you. And it's a way to deal with dare to deal with zare and fair so definitely keep that in mind but this is a little too low even for i get you're trying to shield pressure there but i just kind of want to point this out against people who might be struggling against zero suit oh my gosh devotion got andrew off stage nice and andrew tries to tether cancel into an aggressive option all right so yeah here oh my gosh, devotion got andrew off stage. after this um and when andrew you pull a turn up here throw it up Throw it up first, and then you want to throw turnips over here. Because when you throw it up, you can actually not let her do that from the corner. So if you have time, because at higher percents, you're more likely to hit zero suit much farther off stage, which gives you time to pull turnip to set up a ledge trap. But definitely throw it up first. Denying this flip kick is absolutely crucial. So definitely try to wall this option out first. Aggressive option, but it's caught by that little rainbow. But there's that little so, flip flip kick jump. back on the stage, you know. So yeah, the I'm seeing here they're doing a lot of empty hops, and that's because you haven't really been denying um airspace. You haven't been using a lot of rising aerials or boxing with Zero Suit. So she's not hasn't really been scared to not be in the air yet. And that most of the good. time when you get close, you start to run away. And then you pull a turn up after the Zare, and then they go in with back the grab. On the stage, you know, one of the so, greatest get out of pivot downward angle uh -oh. not good mash right there from devotion able to jump but yeah this is a good dare this is kind of what i was talking about you don't want to be this far though because zero suit can still try to back air but definitely be a little bit higher because you could have avoided this back air here from her be be a little bit higher with your down airs in this matchup just to wall out her short hop approaches and short hop aerials but yeah Again, you hit him. I think you're relying too much on turnips. You hit him, and then I want you to go over there and chase them. Get the center stage. And I'm seeing a lot of the time, the zero suit likes to go on the platform and leave with a zare or some sort of aggressive option. So you can shield here if you want. Um, or you can do a full hop doesn't really matter as long as you're aware that the zero suit likes to come off of the platform aggressively so that's how they're going to try to get back to center oh my god uh definitely avoid this as peach avoid landing on people because downer downer is a good mix-up but i've been seeing you kind of been mashing at a hit stun a little bit and trying to land on characters with disjoints is kind of impossible as peach it's possible but like it's not practical because against like a cloud, they'll just hit you every time. So you kind of got lucky here, but this is like once out of like three times this is where 
So you want to avoid landing on people with down air. It's okay to just go to ledge because like we said, you can just play patient there. You can just hold on to ledge and you'll be fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, the side B. So side B is another thing I see a lot from Peaches when doing pressure. And the way I like to say it is use it at a time where you know it will kill. Use it as more of like a threat. Don't use it oh like right God. now where it's like, oh, if I hit him, they'll be off stage. Use it more as a surprise mix up to get the kill. Because with Peach, it's kind of weird to get kills sometimes. And this is like one surprise mix up you have when doing pressure in the corner. But definitely avoid overextending with it now where you don't get as much reward. Be a little more patient. Keep center stage. It's okay to use once every game or so. Once or twice. Gosh. Unless, given that the opponent's not being like very predictable, alleged. That up smash. So yeah, I like this. I like what <laughs> you're doing here. Do this more oh than pulling the turn up. up smash. You're boxing with her. You're using a lot of rising aerials to anti-air her. Nice. And not this go ahead and chase her because the more stage you have behind you against zero suit the better back here from uh, devotion yeah and there's the aggressive option off of the platform Gets the Zare, not and that's the other reason you want to avoid nice landing from, on uh, near zero suit Gets the Zare, is because of this down smash here hold on let me go back nice back here because that's one way they'll catch landing because zero suit can kind of struggle to kill too because um she has to rely kind of on a hard read or an edge guard or like near flip kick to get you? Sorry about this. Okay, there we go. So, just rely on stuff like near flip kick, a back air. She It's kind of telegraphed what she's going to do at high percent. So, she kind of relies on you overextending with landings. So, kind of what I was saying earlier about you trying to dare into that up smash. It's kind of the same thing here. Don't land near zero suit. She has the speed to whiff punish Peach because you're way slower. And stuff like down smash will net her the kill. So you throw the turn up here, and you condition shield. And this is a co really common scenario with Peach. Um, there's a few mix-ups you can do here. Don't try to go for dash attack here, because that's kind of the autopilot option for a lot of Peaches, is they throw turn up dash attack. Instead, mix it up a little bit. Use something like run and nair. I think run and nair is a little bit better, because if Zero Suit does try to attack you, you'll trade. And trades are more favored for Peach in this matchup. You can dash it in nair. You can sometimes like jump float and go right back down to beta at a shield option. You can float plus air dodge to cross up. Just be aware of all of your options with shield pressure because this dash attack will get you up beat and you don't want to get hit by that. And to DI that, you DI that down. Yeah, you didn't DI that down, I don't think. So let me check. Let's see the lines. Uh. Been doing a really good job I don't know. Of, uh, but if you didn't know, you have to DI um, a B down. Just not get yeah. caught by, you know, not in. Down so yeah, they're going towards the platform. Here, I would try to bait the aggressive option off of the platform, because I know the zero suit most likely will do it yeah. and try to punish her for it. Yeah, I yeah. Uh, you're giving a... Instead, try to close the gap a little bit. You can even throw the turnip up here. He's not yeah, see? Eventually, they're going to do it. So it's just a matter of patience here. Very smart. Yeah. He just wants There's a Zer. Yeah, I think you're not boxing with the Zer suit enough. Like here, like this whole time, you could have tried to like close the gap a little bit and try to. You can even like jump on this platform, jump over there, be a little more patient, try to bait this aggressive Zer off of the platform and punish. Very smart. Yeah. He just wants to play the Zare into Zare. See, this is what I mean about paying attention to what the Zare suit does after. So they do Zare there. Yeah. What do they do? They do another Zare. He just wants to play this patient. And they jump back. So after the Zare, I'm gonna assume that the Zero suit is gonna jump. Or come in with the grab if I'm not already like pulling if I'm pulling turn. Up. Game, he knows that so with the motion. this is how you can use your ground move is let's say you didn't have a turn up here. After they zared, I would try to dash back, dash in, kind of around that zare range to bait her to do something. And that's how you have to use your ground microspacing against zero suit. It's to dash in and out of that zare range to make her think that you're going to pull a turn up. And to kind of force her to approach. 
because otherwise she'll just like keep dancing around and just dancing around you with aerials and it's really annoying Very smart. Yeah. He just so this is there and she jumps back to this patient game. He knows that and now they come in with the burst option so yeah you can try to defend space there too by doing like a back air but this zero two this is a good mix up on his part because he hasn't really done run forward f tilt but he's gonna start trying to push you into the corner because you're not really fighting back that much you're kind of just staying stationary with this turn up and it's not really getting you anywhere that devotion has to come towards him and want so yeah there's the nair and see like i was saying they'll normally follow up with the jab so this was a good roll and i want to see you instead of doing this try to go forward a little more anti-air throw a few moves at the air to condition her to stay grounded exactly and there maybe, we go you know, get that mr saturn get that little dude over here get that bomb bro yeah, like this. See, you're in the center, you're fighting Zero Suit, you're playing around her shield. You're doing a down tilt because you thought that would punish. Instead here, add a shield. Since I've seen the Zero Suit kind of jump a lot, I would have just assumed that they would try to jump. So I would have done like a rising there. So that was a side B. But yeah, you're fighting them in the middle, which is good. Oh, nice. Okay. I like that down smash oh, right there. Stitch. Wait, melee. Stitch. Wait. Side B. See, this was the nice. right time to like use side. Because you were right like, there. um, Stitch. you're in the ch corner. You might shield. You might roll. And if you would have hit it, it would have killed. Oh, no. Nice. Just forward air to get back. Nice. Oh, nice. Right, down tilt. Yeah. That was a good spot dodge, too. Spot dodge is pretty good against your suit because, again, her grab is really slow. And stuff, and it can you can even spot dodge through stuff like Zare. So spot dodge has quite a few uses, and Zero Suit has to rely on a very hard read, like a down smash or something, to get you spot dodging. So keep that in mind of your toolkit. Spot dodge, I know a lot of people don't really like to use it sometimes, but it's a matter of using it as like a fast grounded option, kind of similar to like a fast down tilt or a fast dash attack. It's just a fast move you can use on the ground as Peach. So it's something you can add there, and it kind of conditions your opponent to mix up their timing. So this was a really good spot dodge on your part because I think you thought they would have grabbed you. So that was really good. And they oh, nice. yeah, yeah. So you have the turn up here. There, I would have held shield because again, this person likes to land with an aerial on your shield and jab. I don't think you expected the up. And you could have punished with the turn up. Nice yeah, patience. Maybe try to hit a kick nice. Or that's big and that's also another reason to hold your turnups. Because yeah. in disadvantage, it gives you another ledge option to kind of surprise them and mix up around. Because you can like hold it, sometimes throw it. Maybe the next time they're expecting you to throw it and it gives you like a free roll or jump. It's just a really good option. Oh, you try to grab it. Nice catching the landing. But there you go again, where after you do this, you immediately get scared, and I want you to kind of defend this Pokeball right here, center. And there it is again, where once you dash back and they zare, this person will try to come with another aggressive option, like a grab or a nair or something. Dropped input. Could be huge here for Andrew T. Yeah. Nice. Really good. Double Good grab. He's getting out of there. Oh no, you're pulling turn up. Really good. Double kick flip. Yeah. Here, what I would have done was try to make them think I'm going to pull a turn up here. But dashing back and then dash back in because I want them to zare me and then I'll float plus air dodge. Or come at me with an aggressive option. So here would have been a great time instead of pulling turn up to use the back air. Because you're already conditioned Andrew T to kind of come at you. You've already forced to conditioned him to approach. So this is when you can start defending space and trying to force trades against Zero Suit that, that was rather than pulling turn up. So use your ground movement as a way to trick them to think what you're going to do. So this is how Peach's kind of attacks and movement go hand in hand. As you throw out moves, you kind of condition them, and then you use your movement with that to make them think you're going to press a button while also spacing around their move that they're going to try to punish you with, if that makes sense. It's kind of weird, but... Peach is really good at baiting and playing very ambiguous and neutral. So that's just something you can use to your advantage here. Just use your ground movement to make them think you're going to pull turn up and then punish them for it.
Good tech to get out of that disadvantage state. Tries to go for that Nair into flip kick. I saw it in Grab the but he didn't. Or throw. So, yeah, this is perfect. You throw that up. Instead, what you can do, because that was a really good throw, you can even, like, jump forward air. Another way to, like, defend space here is you jump, and then if you're face backwards, you can jump back air. Because while this turn up is going here, you can throw out another hitbox here to catch her, like, jumping towards you. Okay. Alright, so this is Zero Suit's movement. I'm gonna assume it's gonna always be over here and they're gonna be in the air. Because that's what I'm getting a lot from this player. Is they like to be around here, jumping. Either trying to start a Zare, or trying to bait you. And the way you can do that is you can overshoot, or you can walk. You can walk slowly towards them. And this per and see how they respond to it, because the zero suits movement is kind of all the way over here in the air, and you can do that by like slowly closing the gap, keeping center stage, walking, and using like full hop movement to slowly get in there if you think they're gonna try to like zero at you for coming in. Ooh, not yet. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting up smash. Yeah. They did try to cross you up, but they did a really good mix up of like a ba wave bounce neutral beat. Devotion. So it was a good read. Oh, that's gonna Andrew. Be big damage. Big damage. But yeah, don't jump here. Don't jump here. Looking for the skill. After this, oh, just drift Andrew. away and just like kind of fast fall lower. Don't jump there because the zero suit could. Because losing your jump in disadvantage is so bad against very fast characters. Big damage and an edge Go here, play here. patient. Nice I like the patience here. You're not really getting too nervous or frustrated. That was a oh, no, nice spot that's, dodge. That's, no, that's kind of what I was saying the earlier. Blast. Her spot dodge is just really good against Zero Suit because she doesn't have too many multi hits to punish you with. Oh, no, that could Besides like Jab. No, but Jab isn't no. the worst thing to get hit by. I like throwing those turnips up on the ledge. It's really great. Oh, oh my God. that was good. I like throwing those turnips up on the Another way you could have used this turnip though is throw it up and well not throw it up, I'm sorry. Oh no, that's you can hold on to it. Oh no. When your opponent's at kill percent and they see you with the turnip in hand, that's a really good way to kind of limit their options to get the kill a lot easier. Some people start to like crack or get really nervous when they're at this percent and you're holding like an item. So I would assume the zero suit would be on here, and then I would try to bait the aggressive option off of the platform based on what we know about this player, or try to anti-air them with this turn up to give me in a better spot to hold center stage. Because it's easier to live if you have center than when you're in the corner, right? So you could hold this turn up here. You can do like Z drop up air if you really wanted to. You can get really tricky with it, start moving around, and just playing patient because you don't have to rush things. This person only needs to get hit once before they die. And holding turn up really puts on the pressure here. Throwing it up was good too, because you are keeping center stage. But here, here I would have floated. I would have floated, right? I would have held float a little longer and then just dash attacked here. And you would have got it. No need to side B. Dash attack will kill. Um, but I guess you were gonna try to like read the roll too. But Reactionary floating right there was the good call. Was a good call, but dash attack is just a little bit better here because you would have gotten them. Oh. Or you could try to read the flip kick there if you're like really, really confident. Because your suit, their panic option in a lot of spots is just to kind of flip kick out of there or jump with a full hop. Oh my gosh, that's a good, a good knowledge. Patience here, nice. He knows his peach. That oh. was really good. Oh, that, that was really good because you waited. Like we were saying, Zirsu doesn't have the best option to hit ledge hang, so you're like, okay, I'll side B your shield, and then I'll nair. Because I know you're going to jump out of shield like he's been doing pretty much every time, and it got him. Oh, that so that was really good on your part. I will say that game, you should have been a little more aggressive about keeping center stage with Peach's hitboxes. Because the Zirsu was kind of... Being conditioned into shield a lot when you're up close, and Peach has the tools to pressure and trade with Zero Suit. But yeah, calling up, you did really good at then. So let's get into game two. PS2, oh, I haven't really mentioned stages, but PS2 is a fine pick. Town and City, hmm. Town and City is really weird because it is a bigger stage for Zero Suit to camp. 
Personally, I think it's okay. As long as you don't take Zero Suit to somewhere like Kalos, it's fine. And Battlefield and Yoshi's can be kind of eh. I just don't like the slants on Yoshi's, so I normally just ban that. But Town can be okay. You have more room to work with. You have the platform under the stage to kind of help you a little bit. But the main issue here really is these platforms up here. Because Zero Suit can kind of just full hop up to these platforms or jump onto these platforms and then just kind of start camping you, which is why I don't like Kalos at all. Because it's a really prime camping spot for Zero Suit. But here on Town, unlike PS2, it's actually fine to pull turn up here rather than like immediately go to center stage. You can if you want, but since you have so much room here, it's really hard for Zero Suit or most characters to just run over there and punish you for it. So this is a good spot to just pull turn up when it's free. So that, uh, you know, it's harder for him to get tracked down. Obviously, Devotion showing off. But yeah, here, so that, uh, you know, it's try to use turn up a little more to anti-air. That's something I notice a lot. So here, try to jump and deny airspace here. You could even jump forward air. Just let the Zero Suit know they can't be in the air for free when they're around you, which is something I want to see you do a little bit more in the future. Because they're always going to like try to come down with a landing aerial. Zero Suit gets a lot of mileage from being in the air. So just try to do like rising back air, rising forward air. Rising air, while it's small, it's actually a good anti-air. You can even do rising down air, stuff like that. And then be more on the ground with your movement. You can even do like float plus air dodge if you get a hard read on the Zare. But yeah, overall, try to See, deny more airspace against Zero crazy, Suit. Crazy punish game. Huge Ooh, that was risky. See, you can't really do that. Zero Suit's really catching on to you jumping out of hit stun. And it's really bad to do both jump and flow. Because you see, they hit you, and now you're out of both of those resources. So the Zero Suit can kind of read you a lot easier. And Peach with her air dodge is very slow. So that she can kind of just frame trap you really easily there. All right. Huge combo game on that last, uh, yeah, see, game just take one. unnecessary damage and you could have died there. It's really risky. So instead, just go low. No reason to jump unless it's like a mix up. So Andrew's trying to close it or uh, widen the gap okay. here, make more distance. Give yeah, some, see, you're doing it again. And you're kind of taking a lot of unnecessary and, uh, damage. That was right a good rising down air. And see, there's the aggressive option off of the platform. Downer, but now more and there's the jump out of hit stun again. So in disadvantage, you're doing a lot of unnecessary jumps when you can just like go low and just kind of go from there. Force the zero two to read you going low. That's what you want. With your ground movement, I want you to do. Let me see. Your ground movement. Try to dash in out and in her range a, a little more. In and out of her range. And also mix in like a few jump plus air dodges if you think they're gonna um, try to zare at you. But yeah, definitely be a little more mobile on the ground and experiment a little more with your grounded movement and spacing. Cause like I said, you don't wanna be in the air unless you're doing like a full hop mix up. But I think you're kind of dashing back too much rather than in. It's so good. Here. Like he's so good at placing those. All right. But yeah. Be patient and chill there, because this person will jab. Definitely, that's a habit from them, as they'll do a landing aerial jab. But that's most that's a habit for most zero suits. I think Devotion's gonna start pairing some of these airs. He, he will get some huge. Fun but yeah, see, instead oh, of pulling turn up here, just play Devotion's patient. But if you really think they're gonna zare, you can just full hop here or jump plus air dodge through, and then kind of punish what they do after. Pairing's also really good here against her aerials because stuff like parry down tilt is really good against like sword characters and zero suit because you that's a free way to get damage especially in a matchup like this where you want to get as much damage as possible you're kind of doing chip damage in a lot of ways where it's like you're getting a lot of baby hits on these characters and slowly adding it up over time but something like a parry down tilt is so huge especially in shield heavy matchups where the grab is really slow Huge punishes off if he does that. But there's the jump again. And ooh, Grab. That's the big combo I like that you kept the combo very simple here. Because most people, well, most Peaches would have just tried to go for the second nair and just like overextended. But yeah, you're getting these baby hits. You're like slowly adding the damage up. No need to overextend. 
because Zirsu can just like flip kick over you and now you're in the corner. So that's the big combo. I'm glad you kept it. Now go over there and chase them, but there's the turn up thing that's again. Sixty one percent right there. That is big damage. Here, um, like I was saying earlier, try to anti-air with turn up a little more. Throwing it there doesn't really get you much. Like the zero suit might run in, but the zero suit when you're holding a turn up is playing very airborne anyways. So try to just jump and throw it. At, and then you can even like full hop float after it if you think they're going to try to approach you with a short hop aerial. But definitely try to anti-air with turn ups a little bit more. Right there. And you're dashing back and pulling another turn up. Damage. That's what we're looking for. There's Go the float out of hit stun right here. That is big damage. And that's what we're looking for. Devotion find his, found his way back into the game. Try okay. to get off this ledge. Nice patience. I like how you're being very patient at the ledge and in the corner. It's really paying off. Now has center stage. But that's going to be his but yeah. back into the game. Try to get off you're dashing ledge. back too much to is the problem. Now like, you're in a good spot here. Like, you're being patient. Try to get off this you back aired. I think that was a short hop back here, but here would have been fine to start like doing a jump forward air or rising aerials to deny this airspace, just so she doesn't come at you and Zare for free, because that is a confirm. But yeah, definitely try to dash in and out of that Zare range a little bit more, bait the zero suit to think you're going to pull the turn up, and then you can go in with stuff like a down air or like a f like full double jump JCFF. Just stuff like that. Use your movement a little more able to, to kind of trick them. That's gonna be a Zare to nice. Back. Zare to back here. Really good stuff. And okay, now here. We're just gonna get back. Devotion. Mm -hmm. good amount of so that is a shield mix-up that now, you will see from Zero Suits. Is there in the air? You're gonna try to catch their landing, and they're like, oh, I'll just stall it down here. Devotion. It's another reason to just hold shield on a lot of spots. Ground is sharp. She's saying I'm royalty over here. Oh my gosh. Nice grab. That's Let me see what she did right here. Good amount of room to make so you up, fared. That You're like, Get okay, I'm going to up air and then shield. Hard. And then normally, again, after that Zare, the Zero Suit likes to jump afterwards. She's so saying, I'm royalty over here. Oh my God. And you caught the roll. But see, yeah. you're still keeping center stage and just anti-airing them, which is what I want to see you do more that, that's gonna be a four than dashing back. Nice oh, fair. Nice. On the platform. nice fair there. Nice. Just a perfect read about yep, what see? Once you hold turn up, they're going to go to the platform. So you can just like play patient, which is why I like this over Kalos, because at least the platforms will go away. Just stay on that platform for as long as possible. He's just thinking, what do I do? To no, you pulled the turn up. Down. Try to go forward a little more. But yeah, there's the double Zare there. Normally after that, at this percent, He's just hold on. About what Andrew T was gonna do. But Andrew T wants at around to this percent, Zero Suit won't really get much off of the Zair, so Zero Suit kind of has to read what you do after. So here, I would have just read they are going to do it again, but that was a nice spot dodge. And now you're going to play patient. But here, just use your ground movement a little bit more, because this person thinks you're going to go up and shield, and going to go up and try to hit them. And of course they shield, and Peach can shield pressure. What do now? But there's the fair. So that is something you have to keep in mind against Zero Suit, is thinking, do it's kind of like Sheik, where they'll just run up, and do a really fast aerial towards you. So you can do this, you can crouch under this, you can do like ground float up air if you think they're gonna do it. So it's just the burst option in the air you have to remember from Zero Suit. Like the, this fair kind of forces you to do something because it is a burst option. So that's where you can use your ground movement to kind of microspace around that. That's true. Aren't we all masters at heart? He's proud of it. See, you I mean the shield pressure there was kind of iffy, but. You get the idea. You need to be a little bit, you need to be closer. You need to be fighting close quarters a little bit more to the Zero Suit and start crossing up their shield, doing a lot of really regular peach pressure, shield pressure stuff on them with nares, dares, down tilt. Even going for grabs is fine here because the Zero Suit's kind of scared when you get close. And we haven't gotten too much information on them and how they respond to your pressure because you've been kind of dashing back and pulling turn up too much all masters at heart he's proud of it he's proud of it that was a good <laughs> spot nice dodge Devotion. yeah don't land near zero suit it's really he's hard nice. out of that up there with no jump or float able to get back onto the stage. nope don't don't do that go to the center another nice thing about having a platform is you can go under the platform and it kind of shields you from someone full hopping at you 
and it makes it a little more complicated for someone to approach because full hops are really good in this game. So it's just nice to have a way to kind of shield yourself from that. So keeping center stage is even better because zero suit doesn't have like a way to full hop at you with the Zare. She kind of has to be a little more strategic when trying to get in on you. Stage. And I'm going to guess, yep, there's the aggressive option off of the platform. Nice, chasing with the up air. And I think you did that because it was low percent. But I want you to do this at pretty much all percents, right? Just kind of chasing zero soup and not overextending. Oh, you read the turnip throw because everyone does that. And they hold to it. But yeah, this is how it is. This is kind of how the matchup goes. Right here, oh, where oh, it's just very slow. The zero suit doesn't want to get hit. You're holding a turn up, and you're kind of just playing around what they do off the platform. Yep, and nice parry there. Got the grab. Back here, read it. Okay. This is um, this would have been a nice spot to use walking. Could have like walked forward because I'm like, okay, you're gonna come off the platform with the zero. Nice. Look like and there's the exactly. jump at a disadvantage again. That was a nice move to mix up. Into the platform. I know you meant Where you're like, okay, I'll go above the Zare. But remember, you can also dare here if you want. If you're really confident that they're going to Zare. Nice. Not a fan. Ah, uh, you dash back. But... But ooh, nice grab that turn nice snare. You're no, using nair really throw. well. Oh my gosh. And with an up throw, will it kill? No. Nah. Four throws. Okay, just play patient here. Have a high, high ceiling. It definitely not would have not killed. And still, ooh, just looking tempt. But yeah, do that more. Where you kind of high just drift ceiling, away and, ooh, just and just go tempt. to ledge. Perfectly fine. Good just play patient at ledge too. Ooh, nice. Oh wow. Air. Nice snare. All right. And so, this is where it becomes good, because once you start chasing Zero Suit, we kind of get a feel for what they like to do once they land. And in this spot, they chose an aggressive side. That was a really good grab. But see, this is what I want to see you do more. You could also do this, you like dash back, dash in with your ground movement, make them think you're going to pull the turn up, and then just go from there. So he does have some room. Yep, anti air. And Ooh. yeah, you would have waited there. Wait and shield nice a little longer. Get out of that situation right there and catch Good the catch. Yeah. That's really big but yeah, I'm seeing. That. So in a lot of spots where the stalemate happens, where it's kind of like both pair characters don't want to hit each other, you immediately pull turn up, and this is when you can start like closing the gap a little bit yeah. and being a little really more aggressive. You can time those Z catches. You able to side be over that. Right now. And see, this is where the the flow and air movement really comes into play, is when you're, it not only is a way to avoid Zare, but it's a way to avoid stuff like the grab and the side B, while also conditioning to her to go for more full hops and platform mix-ups on you. So when you're using float, you have to be aware of how you're conditioning your opponent and what exactly you're trying to avoid and punish. So this is not only good for avoiding Zare and Fair, but also the grab. And I think this is good enough spacing just far away from the Fair. But just keep in mind, of uh, for people that don't know how to use Float like amazingly and like trying to get better at positioning it, just keep in mind of what exactly you're trying to avoid and your opponent's aerial burst options with Fair and Zare to kind of stuff you out. And when you know when you start being in the air more, they're gonna anti-air, and then you can transition using Peach's ground movement and stuff like that. So this was a really good way to use float. It might not seem obvious at first, but it covers, it avoids a lot of options while also conditioning different options from the zero suit. If that makes sense, because once zero suit starts jumping, you can start throwing turnips as an anti-air. You can start doing like float plus air dodge as a mix-up. The mix-ups come with Peach's movement after you've been like pressing buttons and stuff. So yeah, it might not, for people that don't know how to use float, like perfectly, this is a good example. Right now, ooh, oh, nice. so, and he was able to punish it there. 
showing him he's royalty. Okay, so... Alright, so here... I'm seeing you're doing this into this. Instead, just dash back. Dash back here. And you can you can up smash if you want. Or just up air. Because you've already did this last game, so he's very aware of it. So definitely mix up how you're dealing with flip kick a little bit more. So throw it up to kind of bait them to do something. You can also use turnips as a way to bait flip kick here. And you can do like an up air here, or you can do like a rising back air here if you think they're going to try to jump from ledge instead of do flip kick. Just always mix up how you're pressuring people in the corner of speech. It's really important because this is how you're going to get your kills is by corner pressure, ledge trapping is peach. It's very strong. So definitely mix it up. Don't go for the same option twice unless your opponent just keeps getting hit by it. Royalty. <laughs> Cause see now you're in the corner. Down smash doesn't isn't too great against zero suit. Cause what the zero suit could have done here right nice. is they could have just like zared and held on to the ledge and just kind of waited for what you did. So down smash isn't amazing against zero suit. You want to dash back a ground roll distance and kind of keep your positioning there. Don't let her get past it. And this is where the mix-ups start when you start going low, is your suit will try to read you going low, and that's when you can start going high. But at the start of the game, when both of you don't have that much information on each other, uh, just go low and up air. This was good too, where you're like full hopping, just above that zero range. And then coming down with the bear. And bear's kind of safe on shield against Zero Suit if you space it right. And see, since you've been jumping, you're conditioning her to go for more um, aerials and anti airs against you. Oh my goodness, really good stuff. Andrew T deep on stage. It doesn't find anything. It's just pressing buttons and they're working. Why can't I be like Andrew T? Just okay. press random buttons and they work. Yep, there's the aggressive option off the platform. And now we're just reading there. So one thing you can do here is you can get on this platform or be around here. You can even like throw the turnip up if you want to. Like just jump and throw it up. Or you can do like a rising full hop down air like around this area instead of like pulling another turnip. Just to kind of mix it up so you're not being predictable. Because we already know what Andrew wants to do off of a platform. It's just a matter of mixing up how you deal with it. Off, off camera. So you can like throw it up here. And then pressure, and just kind of mix up for me. Right now, now nice. Oh, oh, able to just perfect space outside yeah. that dash. Yeah, and this is where you want to use your ground right now, movement, where it's like good. just outside your dash attack range and outside your, of your fair range to make you think I'm gonna like pull another turn. But you already had another one in hand, and he was starting to get impatient because you were being patient, and that's what you got to do. Get back into this match. Oh, oh able to just perfect good space good. outside yeah. that dash attack. Okay. I'm surprised Devotion was ready for that because I don't think Andrew G has dash attacked a single time in this set. He's done a nice. couple of times. This was really good positioning of float. Single time it's like right time. here, right here. And then you can even like stall up here a little bit if you want to to kind of bait them and just play patient. You can even jump to the platform as a mix up. You don't even have to land. But yeah, this was that's how you want to use float in this matchup. And a, take note of the fact that he's not in the air too long. Because if you linger in the air, Zero Suit will just go over there with her mobility and hit you, right? So use more ground movement, but if you are in the air, don't be in there too long. Just be there enough for you to avoid that option at that given time and then get back to the ground or a nearby platform. Or if you want to be in the air as you're throwing out an anti-air. Those are the only two times you really want to be in the air in this matchup. He's done a couple times. A couple so this times. is there. And this is where you could have started to anti-air. Because see, where you position float is where people are going to want to hit you. So you can throw a turn up in this area. Because the zero suit thinks you're going to probably like jump here or float here. And this is where you can throw the turn up to anti-air. So you, I hope you're starting to see how turn ups and where you place float kind of go with each other. And I think uh, got hit by most of them too. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, really good yeah, you're forcing your way at a disadvantage now. Ooh, oh, no, what in the world? But yeah, just go to ledge. It's not the worst thing. Here, because you already have the turn up as another option to get off ledge. But yeah, don't force your way down. Don't try to force any landings here. You really can't afford to take too much more damage. Otherwise, you get to like play perfectly last stock. 
Oh, and that's kind of hard to do all the time. But yeah, uh, interesting fair. I, it just worked Ooh, out because no, we were goodness. like, I think you're going to come towards me. He was ready. Really yeah, don't. Oh, yeah, that is another thing is oh, between goodness. stocks. Don't roll. Don't roll. Oftentimes, I will just shield and be like, please grab me. Just please grab me. Yeah, rolling's really bad there, but glad you didn't do that. And see, there's an air movement mix-up, so this is perfect. This is really good movement on your part, where it's like you're dashing around, making them think you're going to pull turn up, and then you mix up with a way to be in the air. But you're not in the air too long. So that's that's how you want to use your movement instead of pushing, pulling turn ups. So yeah, use a lot of passive movement in this matchup. And then pull turn up like every once in a while, you know? Unless the zero suit's like on a platform, then it's like, well, we gotta do something about this. Right. Ooh, nice. oh, but I'd say the way you played here was perfect. Which is how you should be playing. You're like dashing around, um, maybe throwing out a move to stuff her out. Instead, I would have thrown out like a fair or something to anti-air because the zero suit likes to be in the air. And then kind of like slowly closing the gap and mixing up with air movement when I think they're gonna zero. Not being in the not being in one place too much is also a big deal. Because Zero Suit and fast characters have the mobility to pin you down for being too stationary. Oh no! What happened there? Oh, you missed a conversion. Oh, that's unfortunate. That happens. But the way you're playing at the end is how I want you to play more. A lot of patient movement, dashing back and forth, and then sometimes anti airing her, and you're taking note of the Zero Suit players. So like here, so doing a jump, jump backwards, Zare. After the Zare, I probably would have assumed they were going to do it again. But they're dashing back. But yeah, slowly closing the gap. I think they're going to... Oh, they dash forward there. Okay. But I think after that Zare, they're going to try to read you dashing back again. So you get to mix up your movement there too. But the way you played at the end there was really good. You didn't pull turnips. You used a lot of passive movement and tried to stuff Zero Suit out and... Slowly but surely, you're gonna get center stage. But it was just unfortunate the reversal there because missed the conversion. But it happens. But I'd say a lot of stuff that happened that game is at the beginning, you were kind of dashing back and pulling too many turn ups. A lot of jumping out of hit stun, which, she was, which the Zero Suit was getting you on, and sometimes landing. And not just like grabbing ledge, because you're taking unnecessary damage in some spots. So yeah. Yeah. And also mixing up how you deal with how he exits the platform. Kalos is terrible. I do not ever want to take Zero Suit to this stage if I don't have to. I don't know the rule set here. But the reason is bad is because of Z platforms. Because she can just get off of there with Zare and just camp on you at the stage if she really wants to. And it's super obnoxious. The walls also will help Zero Suit to recover. And overall, I just don't like the stage in Yoshi's at all against Zero Suit. And on Yoshi's, she can sometimes just ladder you and it's just awful. So the two stages you should ban, definitely Kalos, definitely Yoshi's. The walls help her a lot. Not only for recovering and like edge guarding you and just getting off ledge. It's really bad. Just don't go to this stage. Like but now, here, it's easier to on this type of stage, PSS this one in Smashville, oftentimes I'll just read, depending on the player or character, I'll read like an aggressive option here. The idea is not to pull turn up, because Zero Suit's so fast that trying to dash back and pull turn up, you're just losing so much stage. So instead, go with an aggressive option instead here, with like a jump forward air, or you can start committing to movement if you think they're going to like go towards you and try to space around them. But don't pull turn up here, it's too risky. The reward at this percent is okay. It's just really hard to hit her with the turn up at this percent. It's really hard to get much off of the turn up at this percent unless the zero suit really, really messes up. So overall, just don't pull turn up here. But do movement or try to stuff out what she's gonna do. The, oh, he just want, he wants to get it done, bro. He knows. Oh, yeah, you could have tried to, to shield done, there. But yeah, after this, so after an F tilt as Peach, a lot of times people will try to mash out a hit center to do something. So here, after like down throw F tilt, try to 
down throw. Oh wait, yeah. So after the F tilt, try to read um, a panic option here. You can like jump near. You can like up smash if you want to. If it's like, oh wait, no, you can't. This is too low percent. But yeah, just try to read what they're gonna do after this F tilt. Because in a lot of spots, people will panic. They're like, oh my god, I'm up here. I'm hit by like a low knockback move. I need to do something. Instead, just try to read what they do after. Try to go for a trade. Try to just read what they do after. You gotta get it. Set a spot dodge. Because I think you're going to guess they're going to nair. Just go for your own nair instead and go for the trade. Would have been better. Or you can try to up tilt. Up tilt's not bad either there because it goes really high. And there's a jump out of hit stun. And you're trying to land on them with an aerial. Something you can't really do against fast characters that know the peach matchup. It's really hard. Okay. Yep, miss pulling turn up. See, you're kind of diverting from the game plan of last game. We're here. You should have been doing what you're doing, which is like moving, doing maybe a full hop mix up in the air to anti air them, and just slowly reading the Zero Suit's movement. Because Zero Suit wants you to chase her. Because if you do, she'll just. You're corner pressuring her, and she just flip kicks over you, and it's like, oh my god. Yeah, the turn up thing, it's not really working, and this is what's gotten you hit the most. This set, by far. Back, you know? This and jumping out of hits none. Really good job, uh, of punishing, uh, but yeah, again, pulling turn up after you hit them. Go over there and have take as much stage behind you as you can, but not overextending to where she'll flip Motion kick over you. But yeah, see, Zero Suit can just do this on this stage, and it's like, oh you know, lord, it's, uh, it's really annoying. But, you know, that was ooh, good ooh, too. And sometimes if you position yourself game, you know, minus, uh, in the air well enough, you can even like anti-air her in the air like this. So being really precise with your float and where you put yourself in the air is really important in this matchup. I hope you're seeing that. You know, ooh, never mind. Back here. Say that. Uh, yeah, there's the down smash again, and they just flip jump over so it. Use that turn up to punish the flip kick. Not gonna get it. And you also have to mix up the timing too that you throw. Five percent, but you know, ooh, never mind. Back here. Yeah, you also have to mix up the timing, but instead of this down smash, instead here with this turn up, what I would have done. You know, ooh, Pull it, mind. throw it like a little bit earlier, and try to go back and cover roll. It's not really worth doing this this option again because it worked once, but it hasn't been working like the last two times. So you gotta mix it up. Just use that turn up to punish the flip kick. Not gonna get it. Patient, nice, and that was a good mix up. You haven't really done like too many aggressive options off ledge this game. Yeah. Coach has been really patient on the ledge this set. Because mm -hmm. you've been very patient. Yeah, okay. So there we go. Coach has been really patient on the ledge this set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there you're landing on Zero Suit again. And they can just down smash. But Zero Suits are good at reading spot dodges and stuff. So you gotta be very careful about that. Was that a spot dodge? Really patient on the ledge this set. Yo, I have not eaten, so my brain might be going out of whack now. But yeah, read the spot dodge. It's probably better just to roll away. And rolling away against Zero Suit's not that bad, because getting hit by the tail end of Zare isn't the worst thing at certain percents. So it's just better to roll. If that's something you gotta as long as you don't get predictable with them, roll can be a really good option when that's you're holding good. shield in really matchups like this. And oh, he, he's doing a little, he's just weaving back and forth. Nice little, 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 little <laughs> turn around. He's like, I'm ready for you. Go for the fans. Ooh, yeah, nice there's the fair. That right there. Let me check he's something. Like, and oh, he, he's doing a little, he's so they're doing jump, Zare, fair, side B. So they're going to try to catch your landings with side B. So there's the Zare again into fair. I think he knew that was a conversion. But he's seeing you're jumping over the Zares a lot and using fair. So this is when you shift to using more ground movement and grounded anti-airs like ground flow up air. Maybe even walking and shielding to try to parry an aerial. Stuff like that. Keep in mind of how you're conditioning them. Andrew Tosh, she's so lucky, dude. She's so lucky. Even mix it up here. So with Peach, yeah. mixing up your landings is a big deal. So you can like jump, oh, she's so lucky. float there, and even like jump away and go with the falling down air if you think they're gonna like try to catch your landing. Dude. Instead of just like immediately going forward and fair, yeah. you could jump forward here, float, and then jump away if you want to. Or you can jump towards them if you think they're gonna like catch your landing. 
with like a down air or forward air. But going for this immediate fair is just like, it's kind of predictable. Oh, she's so lucky, dude. She's so lucky. That and there you are mashing out a hit stun, trying to land Dash. on them. And now really it's good. just like, oh, it sucks. Doesn't get that up smash, though. And, and here, so that mash. yeah, I'm starting to see really you're getting really antsy and disadvantaged this game. But just go to ledge. Just go to ledge here. It's not really worth trying to land on zero suit. She's too fast. Just play it patient. And yeah, there's the air dodge. And it's just kind of going downhill. So in these moments where you're like kind of fumbling, just take a step back. Stay at ledge. You can afford to stay at ledge here. Just be patient. Because a lot of people, when the game is like sped up or you're playing against someone who's playing super fast, they kind of panic a lot more, and that's what fast players are trying to do to you, is they want you to get scared. They want you to panic, but you have to like keep your cool, slow down the game at like ledge or on the angel platform, maybe even off stage if you can just like float there. Just don't panic or do something or try to like force your way at them. If that makes sense. It's just really difficult in these positions to keep your mental, and that's what you need the most. Get that. Able to side B. Flip back onto the stage. Good patience from both players. Motion okay. back in center stage. Yeah. What's Here, gonna make time to anti-air. Because, try to anti-air with the turn up, because like I was saying at the beginning of the VOD, the Zero Suit player likes to be just around Zero distance and kind of playing airborne in that area. And you can just jump throw a turn up to kind of force them to not do that. And then you can pull turnips and just start kind of chucking them at them. And then that forces them to approach. And the zero suit likes to approach with Zare or some sort of burst option if they think you're going to pull turnip. And then that's when you can start using ground movement. So that's kind of the flow chart here. As you jump throw it, um, if they're not approaching, pull turnip again, jump throw it, or like run up shield is another option. Um, and that kind of forces them to kind of deal with you pulling turn up. And that's when you can start dashing in and out of their range with ground movement. And then if they want to jump at you, you can anti-air them. Back in center stage. What's he going to make out of this? He's got to find the stock soon. But nice patience. It's just patience that stays is. the key. Yeah, very good for like you did. It was, that was really good. He's gotta find it's the like stock not really overextending. That just is. keep it center. Because yeah, the nice thing about keeping center against zero suit is it's easier to read the flip kick out of the corner and that's one way you can get the kills that was, that was a good catch right there that is a win condition is just reading the flip kick here get it, that's good side b from andrew t just to get devotion off stage and now edge guard situation. nice no it doesn't get it a good down air that was, you're doing yeah, so you're good at ledge. Starter, too much off of it. playing patient it. Dude, nice z catch right there Hmm. But yeah, there, you've been pulling turnips, which is good. This is your suit hasn't really been approaching. But this is when you have to mix it up. You don't pull the turnip, you make them think you're going to do it. And you can do like a full hop here, because this zero suit is punishing you a lot with Zare. You can do a full hop here, you can do like jumpless air dodge, which you haven't really been using a lot. Just punish them for making them think you're going to pull a turnip. And chase them there. Especially at this percent, where... You can just chase them. You can chase the landing with a dash attack, or if they're kind of far with the ground full forwarder. I think dash attack is better here because it's they're closer to the ground. Or this player might even side B while landing. So just try to read that. So the best option here definitely would have been double jump forward air. Just double jump forward air. Avoids the side B. It catches their landing. It outranges a lot of zero suits moves. So that would have been the perfect option to go here to chase them with instead of pulling another turn up. Nice aggressive way to come off that ledge. I like that. And right now. Yep. Nice. Uh oh. Climbing his way back. Oh. Okay. So here. Your that side B wasn't that good. I think a lot of the time in neutral, when you get impatient, you try to like force your way at them. And that doesn't really work against Zero Suit. She has a lot of ways to stuff Peach Went out back. for oh, being like overly air, aggressive. Callos. So that's why you got to be Huge really patient with your survive. movement and take Maybe a step back sometimes. Here was for those big, big blast zones. I think that there it is. Was... They caught Maybe you being a little too patient. Big... But here would have been nice to just jump throw the turnip because it would have stuffed out the Zare immediately. So definitely jump throw a turnip a little bit more in this matchup. Big blast zone. I think that may be it, but nice. Ooh. Zero in the back air. 
Andrew T. The B and B for Andrew T. And now, okay, playing patient. Like but uh, uh, you also have to Andrew use T. moves to and defend now... space, though. So try to close the gap. Maybe this would have been good to just jump throw turn up. And then once you start jump throwing turn up. It's a nice place to start mixing it up because you can jump throw maybe going with an aggressive option, jump throw float, jump throw like air dodge. Kind of what we were saying about the shield pressure earlier about when you throw a turn up, what you do after. You can also do it like in the air too. I like how that runs. But yeah, this zero suit's kind of catching you waiting a little too long. So you got to mix up your timing. Uh, Let me see yeah, earlier. Maybe like here, Maybe that's why he you're kind of just like being a little too passive with your ground movement. You weren't really mixing anything up in the air. So it made it much easier for the zero suit to pin you down. Kind of the same thing here, right? Where you pull the turn up, you're playing passive, you're playing too patient, but you're not really threatening any space to make the zero suit scared of you. So it makes it much easier for her to just pin you down here. So you got to defend some sort of space and condition them. Okay. But here, yeah, the other thing is like in a lot of spots, you're letting go of shield too early. And if Zero Suit fares on your shield, you can just back air because she'll cross you up and then you just back air her for crossing you up with her fair. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. You're landing too aggressively. It kind of happened both times there. It was like, uh oh, I'm panicking while I'm landing. No. One thing you can do is you can just jump to the platform. If you are going to use your jump, you can jump wave land on the platform here. Not a bad idea. Just don't force a landing against fast characters. It's really hard. But yeah, that's the other thing because the commentator kind of reminded me of it. When players have momentum, it's extremely scary, especially Zero Suit when you could just die at like near flip kick if they're playing really on point. It's important to slow down the game. Because that's the optimal way to play this matchup, is you play it very slow, just slowly like defending space, and kind of just reading the Zero Suit's movement and what they do after they throw out a move. Momentum to keep going and so going. Nice patience. Oh my gosh, he's timing. So doing awesome at the ledge, though. It's really good. Oh my gosh. And okay, there's that. Ooh, nice flip Great kick movement. back. That was a nice mix up, though. So remember, oh when you have a turn up, you can also just like mix up what you do while you're holding it. And this was good. It didn't work, but I appreciate the um the mix up here is really good i think if you floated a little bit higher you might have gotten it oh hey, wait i think she was in so there, there right out there. i know oh my gosh and uh she might have just been intangible but she could have hit it if you floated a little bit higher so definitely be a little bit higher with your float okay, height there's that Ooh, nice flip Great kick movement. back to the stage oh it's so clean i love watching uh -oh. zss just move around the stage it's so beautiful nice yeah, you love watching zero suit samus uh jump around the stage you gotta love watching andrew t because exactly. he's so good at piloting this character movement is so clean mm. with your spacing here i think you're a little too far exactly. even with your movement like throughout the set so i think you're just this is too much space you want to space a little bit closer just a little bit closer to where you're just outside of that zero or you can comfortably move around it and yeah i think you're just moving a little too far back Hold on, let me go back. So you hit him there, you pull the turn up again, which isn't what you want to do. You can even throw the turn up up here if you want to. But yeah, I think you're spacing a little too far. You want to be a little closer. Yeah, like this is too far. Nice. Mixing up what you do. And this is what I want to see more of. It's like you hit them, they jab on your shield, because that's how this zero suit is responding to your shield in a lot of ways, is they see you dropping in too early. So that's why they're going for the jab here. And then you start mixing up on your shield with movement. Another burst option you can do. I might mention it later. Yep, there's the jab again. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Ooh, tries to go deep on that. No, I think he tried to get a, a ledge jump, but he missed a little bit. Yeah, I love him using that uh, the wall jump so well. Yeah, it's so puts it a really good, really good angle for. Uh, you're doing better with the turn ups. You're starting to throw them in the air. And, ooh, nice Z catch, just and you're starting to box with Zero Suit. This is what you want. You want to condition Zero Suit into shield there. Devotion, back air. Trade. It's crazy how much the pace of this match is slowed down when Devotion is so 
potions down. So the downer here. Downer doesn't really work because the up B has a hitbox here. What you could do instead is Toad, but another great option that you can go for here is, so you threw the turn up to kind of not make them flip kick at you. What you can do is just ledge trump here. Ledge trumping is an awesome option. Peach has a disposal that you can use to kill. So instead of going for the downer here, this works in some matchups, but not this one, is yeah, just go and ledge trump. And ledge trumping conditions your opponent to do an immediate option and oops, sorry about that. How do I X this out? Okay. It makes them do an immediate ledge option. Most likely gonna be a flip kick or an aerial off the ledge, and you can punish them for that to get the kill. Slow down when devotion, so down. Yeah, I like how you're yeah, yeah, yeah. don't don't land there. Really good side B. Like how you're slowing Ooh, the game down that like and starting to box with zero suit. Yeah. Just not really forcing your way in at mid range. Oh, this is another scary part of this yeah. matchup is when you're here and Zirasu can just reversal you. Well, not reversal. She can get you with this up B. I don't know so if you can get back. Careful. Oh, tries to get the up B, but oh, nice he's there. there. All right. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to get the, a really yeah. big low percent combo here. Oh, but yeah. He's gonna you're have starting to, to run into these zeros a lot, and you have a few ways to deal with this. You can parry it with the turn up. Like, try to go for a parry. You can flow plus air dodge through it. But, yeah, on the ground, definitely use those a little more. Like, I see you're starting to try to jump over it, which is good. But just realize with Peach, it's really important with Peach to know all of your options and mix up around them. Because this character has some of the most mix-ups you can have in the game with float and just all of her options. So knowing, I'd say the challenge with Peach is just knowing all of your options and mixing them up. Like, that's the thing I see with a lot of Peach players when I do VOD reviews, is I'm like, do you know all of your options here that you can use and mix them up? The, yeah, try really to parry. Combo here. Oh, that's, it that's it, that's grab, it. That's get your baby hits. And see, there's no point to rush the game because you can always just hear, hit Zero Suit and do like 50 or 60%. And she needs to hit you like three two times to get the same amount no oh, doesn't get it yeah, peach can get more off of a hit in this matchup and that's important so it's also beneficial to go for trades when you can as well it out. Forward air. Yeah, play patient here that, that was not a good float oh, no. oh, that was not a good float oh, so you got hit here that's back here no oh, doesn't get it yeah andrew pulls it out I, yeah, that was you did the same thing where you jump and floated out of hit stun, and that's really bad because what Zero Suit this, could do this, here this is kind of just she actually could have just gone out and hit you and you would have died, but he didn't do that. So, or she could have just like upbeat. So, it's so important. I hope you're seeing it's really important to keep your resources. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh just, just barely. barely. Uh oh, yeah, don't punish the up smash. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh just, just barely. barely. But yeah, there, you could have, like, done Golf Club if you wanted to. Instead of trying to, like, punish the up smash. Because th some people will just spot dodge there and just, like, punish you. It's really annoying. But it's just something you have to be aware of with smash attacks in this game. People will try to spot dodge after them and punish you. Oh my god. That's so scary. Oh, don't get the back air. Too high percent. Nice DI as well. Oh no! All right, you did the side B option a little too much. So this is what I was saying about what do you do after you throw the turn up, and you can always mix it up. But I think you were trying to go to ledge there, and it just kind of failed. But uh, that's just unfortunate. But I'd say you played it really well near the end here. You're starting to box with zero suit, playing patient with your movement, and when you're at, let me see, let me see. when you're at this range versus zero suit avoid whether you're in the air or not avoid holding forward because again that forward air is really fast really good anti-air and just kind of mix up around the zare and what she does with shield hold it a little longer hold it a little longer because this person likes to jab afterwards but pretty much i think i said everything i need for this vod review but yeah you actually i think if you didn't jump as much and you didn't pull turnips in kind of obvious spots, I think you actually could have gotten this because the games were actually a lot closer. See, so like you were 73%. But otherwise, I think you did really, really good at ledge. Super patient. You did good there. 
And I also think your conversions were pretty good too. So that's good. And it's good you hold turn up too, because not that's something a lot of Peach players kind of forget about, is it's an item that you can hold and you can mix it up by throwing it and holding it. So hope this was helpful.